Okay, I want to talk about organizing the tags in Studio 5000 to make it easier to work with factory I.O. So we have two locations for tags. One is in the controller, the controller scope. And up until now, we've been putting everything under controller scope. But we're getting a lot more tags going on, so I want to get it a little more organized. What I want you to do is use the controller scope only for address tags. So addresses, that's the physical addresses in our PLCs. And if I open factory I.O., it's the addresses in factory I.O. When we do this, I want you to use this conveyor station. If you're on full screen, it's right here. That's the one we're going to be using for setting up the tags and for the first factory I.O. assignment that you're going to start on today. Under controller tags, when you configure your modules, it automatically puts all the addresses in under controller tags. That's all these guys down here. For factory I.O., you have to put in all these bool in, whoop, zero, bool in, one, bool in, two, and go to drivers, Alan Bradley. So here's all the addresses that I need for my factory I.O. What I want to do is I want to put all those addresses into my Studio 5000 so that it's all set up and ready to go. So I've got boolean 0 through 10 and over here I did boolean 0 through 10. Bool out 0 through 13 and there's one more, the int out 0. So I'm putting those all in the controller scope. Then when I go down to my main program and these tags, what I've done is I've made aliases for the factory I.O. tags or the factory I.O. addresses. So here I typed in at entry one, and that's an ad an alias for bool in zero. And that matches what factory I.O. has set up. So then if I go over to my code, I can put things in here that really mean something to me. Instead of having bool out 7, which I don't have any idea what that is, I've got an alias for e-stop, and I call it e-stop FIO. So FIO for factory IO for an abbreviation. That tells me that Oops, edit, undo. So that tells me that it's this e-stop. On your trainers, you also have an e-stop. So you have to differentiate between the e-stop on the virtual machine and the e-stop on your trainer. Same with things like the, the green light. There's a green light on the virtual and you have two green lights on your uh, on your machine, on your trainer. So you have to somehow differentiate between them. Under controller tags, we only put address. Under the main program, we put all the alias. Put in aliases for everything that you have. I want you to get all these guys entered in so that they're all ready to go. When you're doing your, your logic, if you have, here's my input. So rather than putting in bool in six or local in data four, those types of addresses in your code don't tell you what's going on. And if you do it this way first and then go back and fix it, you're just creating a bunch of extra work. So it's better to put in all your tags, alias all your tags, and then use those when you're writing your logic.